Although it may be shocking, natural selection and survival instinct can lead to animals killing their young. At Animal Wise, we explain why guinea pigs eat their babies. Why do guinea pigs eat their young? Postpartum cannibalism in rodents may be associated with ingestion of stillborn pups, although ingestion of live-born pups can sometimes occur. In either case, the reason is purely for survival. The ingestion of stillborn pups eliminates any remains that could attract potential predators and endanger both the rest of the litter and the mother. The ingestion of live newborns also has a justified cause. Insufficient or poor quality feeding will prevent the female from producing enough milk to feed her entire litter. When the female sees her newborns endangered for this reason, she may decide to sacrifice the weakest to ensure the survival of the rest. Females subjected to high stress may consider their burrow to be unsafe and will prefer to wait until this is not the case for the next litter. It should be noted that although postpartum cannibalism in guinea pigs is possible, it is extremely rare. Learn about how to avoid behavioural issues in your guinea pig with the video we share above on keeping cavies happy. What to do when a guinea pig gives birth? The gestation of guinea pigs is relatively long for a small animal, ranging between 58 and 75 days. During this period, it's essential that a veterinarian specialising in exotic animals checks up on the well-being of mother and pups. A home birth will only be viable if the controls carried out during pregnancy don't indicate any significant risks. You'll also need to prepare a nest for the guinea pig to have a safe and isolated space for delivery. At the time of delivery, the ambient temperature should be around 18 to 24 degrees Celsius or 64 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Delivery should only last about 30 minutes, but it's essential you don't manipulate or disturb the mother during this time. If we do see any complications in labour, we need to call our veterinarian and follow their specific guidance. Ideally, we should have a plan for how to transport them to a veterinary clinic in case an emergency situation does occur. If you want to know some fun facts about guinea pigs, don't miss the next info video above. How to prevent guinea pigs from eating their young Cannibalism is not a common behaviour among guinea pigs, but there are certain factors which can trigger it. For this reason, we need to consider the following preventive measures. It's important to promptly remove pups that are stillborn or die shortly after delivery. Similarly, a balanced diet is essential to help avoid this problem. Ensuring adequate quantity and quality of food during pregnancy and lactation will almost certainly prevent postpartum cannibalism in guinea pigs. Stress in general needs to be avoided during pregnancy, labour and lactation. The female should be disturbed as little as possible and provided with a quiet and suitable place for rearing her litter. We will also have to keep in mind that we need responsible families to adopt the guinea pigs once they are weaned. For this reason, we recommend evaluating the option of sterilisation when females and males live together at home. If you want to continue learning about guinea pigs and rabbits, check out the playlist we share here. If you have any experience raising guinea pigs, feel free to share it in the comments. We'll see you next time.